Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tiny Herd. We're going to be doing some spot cleaning tonight and while we do that I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update as to what has been going on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my tools here. So this will be a real time cleaning so this will probably be the normal like 15-20 minutes that this takes. So let's just jump into it. So first up, let me make sure you guys can see. I think that's a little better. Okay. So first up, um, I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what's been going on. So I haven't posted videos in a couple weeks. Um, and now I'm back because um, <laughs> I actually quit my job and got a new job. And I haven't started my new job yet, as of yet. I start the beginning of May. So that was a big life change. I had to wrap up stuff, but my old job was very, very stressful and a lot of hours, and it just became something that is no longer in line with what I wanted for my life, basically. So I am switching jobs, and I'm hoping that that goes well. Um, but that is kind of just the explanation as to why I took a break and why things were a little crazy. Um, I just had to get through that so I could kind of take a breath. So that is the background on that. Um, a lot of stuff has happened with the pets. You guys might have seen some of it if you follow me over on Instagram because I do post updates over on there. But we have lost a couple of pets. So I had talked a little bit and posted on social media that Belle wasn't doing very well. Um, she passed a really big bladder stone. We were able to help her pass that and then she seemed to be doing well. Um, we did take her to the vet because she was kind of starting to get bumblefoot in her back feet or in her front feet I mean um, because I could tell she kind of had some arthritis. So we wanted to get her on antibiotics and pain meds, all of that stuff. Um, we did get her on antibiotics, but I don't know if it was the antibiotics or if her little body just wasn't recovering well from the stone and the pain of that, but we did lose her that later that week, um, which was hard. It was sad because I, she was one of the first two guinea pigs that I got after getting my own apartment and, you know, getting kind of in my adult life and... I've had, I had her for six, almost six years. She would have been six in July. Um, or really she would have been six now because her gotcha day was in July. So she would have been pretty well close to six years old, but it wasn't fully unexpected since she was so old. So we did lose her. We had her cremated and we have a nice little um, urn for her that I've posted on social media as well. In case you guys want to check that out, I'm going to link the shop that we got it from, from Etsy, because I have actually ordered several from her, and I love them. So, I will link that as well. But we did lose Bell Pig, which was hard, but that honestly was kind of the breaking point with my job, too, because people were emailing me for things, and I just, you know, it's, life has to come first sometimes, and it wasn't really able to. So... We lost Bell Pig, which was sad, um, but <laughs> you can probably tell here the room is a little bit different. This cage that I am working on cleaning right now actually houses two male guinea pigs that like to throw their poop out here because I, for some reason, didn't put the plastic in their cage and I really, really need to get it cut and fixed. And back in here because they fling poop out all the time but we got a new piggy it was weird timing and it was a weird weekend but we actually got him the day after bell pig passed away he was local but i had told you guys i was looking for a friend for georgie and we've been looking for the right friend for georgie for quite some time hello georgie hopefully you guys can still see what i'm doing um, but we actually just had the opportunity to go get this little guy that hopefully you can see in here. His name is Jellybean. There's Jellybean. 
So this is Jelly Bean's official introduction. There will be a video later on this week, I think. I think it'll be up Friday that talks about bonding them and kind of introducing him a little bit more. But he is in here with Georgie now and they are actually getting along really great. So I'm really happy with how that worked out. They are very messy, as you can tell. Two messy boys. I really hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to keep talking anyways, and hopefully you can. Um, so we got Jelly Bean. So we still have six piggies, but it kind of just worked out weirdly that we were able to get Jelly Bean right after losing Bell Pig. It was kind of like the ray of sun, the silver lining ray of sunshine of the weekend. So he has been doing great with Georgie. They didn't have any major disagreements. Um, I mean, they had normal bonding, dominance, arguments, and such, but nothing like worrying. And they've been together now for over a month. So they're doing really, really well. Okay, sorry, I have to get this spot. Should have done it before I put your pad back down. You guys are, they're so messy. Like, I feel like their cage is always dirty. Don't walk out there, Jelly Bean. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm really sorry if I sneeze. Okay, their cage is the hardest to clean by far. You guys probably can't see anything right now. Except for like my hand or something sideways, so I'm sorry about that. But I try to get this one done. Okay, so let me get this one done and then when we get to the other cage, I will keep updating you guys on everything else that's been going on. Okay, so Georgie and Jelly Bean are done, so we're going to move to the girls' cage. So this is just Callie and Lily now since Bell Pig is no longer with us. But, um, so we talked about Bell Pig. We talked about getting Jelly Bean. The only other major update besides me quitting my job that I talked about is um, with the mice. So one of my most recent videos was about the mice and about how Milky Way had cancer and we were just trying to keep her comfortable in a weird twist of events this is not going to be a very happy video guys i'm sorry um in a weird twist of events hershey actually passed away first um we're not really sure what happened we think she probably had a stroke mikey is standing on my foot hi so we think hershey had a stroke um we i kind of just went in there to check on them one evening and she was like out in the middle of the floor, just kind of like laying around, which is not <laughs> normal behavior really. Definitely not for her. The other ones were like around doing stuff and she was just like laying there. So um, I kind of knew at that point that she was not really doing well, but it was of course like a Sunday evening so there was really no way we could get her to the vet. They're, they're two years old also. So I kind of knew that there wasn't really a whole lot that was going to be able to be done anyways. Because it could have just been old age to be honest. So she passed away that night. And then, so the very next evening I went in there and that's not where that goes. And uh, Milky Way, hey! Sorry, there's a bunny ripping at my slipper. Excuse me. The very next day I went in there to check on them. It's like the same thing. And Milky Way was like laying in her wheel, which was also not normal behavior. She seemed fine kind of because I would like interact with her and she would like do her normal interactions with me. But it just didn't sit well with me that she was laying in her wheel because that's just a weird place for her to lay so I knew I mean she had cancer so we knew that she didn't really have that long anyways but she did pass away later that night as well so we actually lost two mice in two weeks or two weeks 
uh, two mice in two days. So that was sad as well. So unfortunately, Snickers is now alone, which is not ideal. If you don't know anything about mice, they really should be in at least pairs, which I had been thinking about because I knew Milky Way wasn't doing well. So I was kind of trying to figure out what I was going to do because I knew that it was going to be down to two probably soon. And then it, uh, of course, it turned out that we were down to one a lot sooner than I expected. We are down to one now. And also because this is really dirty. Um, also, since we are down to one now, I decided at this point that, excuse me, I need that. Hi, come out. You need a bath, man. Um, I decided for now that we're just going to let her be alone. Um, she seems like she's doing fine. Like, I'm sure it was very hard on her as well to go from having two girls with her to having nobody with her. But she, like I said, she's older. I don't think she's ever been with any other mice besides those two. And I don't have any experience bonding mice at this point. So, and because she's, again, two years old, over two years old. I, I'm not planning on getting her a friend at this point, just because one, I don't know where to get mice. Um, there's only males in the animal shelter right now. I don't, there's no breeders or anything around here that I know of that I would be okay with getting them from. I'm not buying them from the pet store. So there's really nothing that I can do about it. Excuse me, Figgy's under the blanket. So, I just, she's, we give her a lot of attention. I know that's not the same at all, but that's really all we can do at this point with things working out the way they did. Um, but again, she seems, I mean, she seems fine. She seems all right. So, we're just gonna make sure she stays happy and healthy. That's all you can really do. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm not used to talking while doing this. Okay. So those are the main updates that I wanted to share with you guys. You can see the room's a little different. This is the baby's cage. They're not babies anymore, but you know, they're the youngest. So got their cage left. They're actually pretty messy as well. Not really sure why they're so messy, but they are. Probably Johnny Pig's, though Johnny Pig's pretty clean. Boys tend to be a little messier. Though, before Jellybean was in with him, Georgie was by far my cleanest pig. So that's interesting as well. I think that's the main updates though. Um, I should be back to doing videos pretty normally now. I'm planning on doing videos every Friday. I'm going to try to do two videos a week as much as I can, but... With starting a new job and whatnot, I don't know what kind of like time I'm gonna have. Um, but I definitely will be doing my Friday uploads. I know a lot of you guys have asked if I'm gonna do another cage reaction video and I wasn't planning on it, but since so many people have asked, um, I'm thinking I might. So I will post in like the community tab if I decide to do that to ask for some submissions. So maybe keep an eye out for that but I'll let you guys know. Other than that, I just, honestly, um, I've had the last week off and I have this current week off before I start my new job and it's been the best thing, honestly. Like I've been able to get things organized. I'm working on getting things with the pigs caught back up because like June and Callie need baths really bad. Um, Long-haired piggies need baths really bad. I need to clip some nails. Andy needs a haircut. But that's those are all things that I normally just like have to make time for and then stress about other things. Which obviously my animals like come first. <laughs> but that's kind of just how it was. And I'm really looking forward to having my evenings back and not having to work on Saturdays. So 
I'm taking this week to get everything caught up pretty much and then I won't have to worry so much about finding time for things. It's gonna be really nice. I'm really looking forward to it. The bunnies are doing fine. You guys wanna update on the bunnies? They're both doing fine. We haven't had any ear issues. Mikey still has his head tilt, but we know that's not going away. That's really updates with everyone. Everyone else is doing fine. The, the Johnny and June are doing fine. Um, the girls are doing fine. Lily and Callie with losing Belle. Um, Callie seemed a little like, well, she kind of laid around for a couple of days, but she has been with Belle her whole life. I'm pretty sure they were from the same litter. So she had been with her her whole life. I'm sure it was weird to her to not have her around, but they've adjusted just fine. Um, that's why I'm really glad that they were together. I'm thinking about possibly trying to put Johnny and June with the girls because they lay like along there. Like the all four of them like on either side. So I'm thinking about trying to bond them and just seeing how it goes because um, Johnny is fixed. So I wouldn't have to worry about three girls and a boy <laughs> and babies since he is fixed. And then um, it doesn't really matter, but June is also fixed. Whew. So I'm gonna get them a new rug their stuff back oh I didn't do their pad duh put this back down for them take this in okay so everybody's good and swept up I'm gonna make sure that everybody has water they do the boys need some water so I'll do that get everybody some hay this is kind of like my normal evening routine spot clean make sure everybody has water and hay I'll clean the bunnies litter box once Mikey's not in it at some point this evening these boys, I know it looks like they don't have hay. It's because they literally pull it all out onto the floor. But they eat it all. It's like really impressive. So I dumped a lot of it when I picked up their pad and dumped it in the trash. But they like pull they like to pull it out before they eat it. So a lot of times it looks like their hay bag's empty, but they have like a full pile of hay underneath it. Okay. So they're good girls need some hay I'm sure get you some yeah you're ready for it aren't you doesn't matter that they're with hay in there gotta have the good fresh stuff huh okay, add some to that one too all right I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys in the update. That was kind of my normal evening spot clean routine that I do. Um, I'm going to get the boys some water and then later on this evening I'll get the bunnies litter box cleaned and then the bunnies need water as well. But other than that, everybody's pretty much good. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about my update or anything down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!